but a lot of these patients we saw um, granulomas sometimes forming on the vocal process and then these um, little hemorrhages that can run along the vocal edge. I saw one patient where the whole um, left vocal fold had actually um, hemorrhaged and it looked like the whole vocal fold was filled with blood. And so a lot of times, even if you put them on voice rest, if the cough is still occurring, then they're still having all of that phonotrauma and potential complications with their vocal folds, um, even with pretty stringent voice rest. So some clinical conditions which can cause chronic cough, which can lead to some of these things that we've um, seen is withdrawal from ACE inhibitors. Um, if your patient is on ACE inhibitors, that is a good question to ask. Um, treatment of rhinitis, interestingly enough, sensory afferents that are in the nose can significantly change the threshold for cough down in the trachea or even from the larynx. And so if your patient is having sinus problems or some of these other um, nose-related problems, that can also lead to chronic cough. And then if you think that your expiratory um, is the problem, and we do think that expiratory pressure does have some control over how long the compression phase duration is. So if you think air leaking is not the problem, but just this super prolongation of your compression phase, then expiratory muscle strength training might be a nice place to go. So if you would like to know more, um, so this paper by Carol Smith Hammond that was published in the Journal of Chest, this is her big paper on stroke patients. This is a really fantastic paper and, and some of the really neat stuff that I didn't quite talk about was she goes through entirely kind of how bad our ability is to judge cough by just listening to it. And so I think by reading some of what she said in there, you might be increasingly convinced. Okay, so number two, the big goal is behavioral management. And so we wanna teach the patients to suppress the cough despite the, all the sensations that they are experiencing um, that the cough relieves. And then we wanna refocus the patient on the symptom control rather than trying to find a cause for the cough to occur. So um, not a conversation so much about reflux, not a conversation so much about the cold that they had three weeks ago, but about what they're feeling, why they're coughing, and kind of uh, focusing really on the symptom rather than the cause.